Let's see how we can install Microsoft Workbench and how we can connect to a database using MySQL Workbench. First, go to this URL, click on the link in the description and you'll be taken here. Click on download now. And scroll down and click on this x8664 MSI installer. Click on download. And click on no thanks, just start my download. And let's wait till the download is complete. So now our download is complete, just click on open file or go to wherever you have downloaded your file and click on the file to open it. Now this is the installer wizard, click on next. This is where your workbench will be installed. If you want to change directories, just click on change. And you can then use this to go up and you can choose anywhere you want. But for now, I'll leave it at default and click on next. And let the complete be selected. Click on next again. And finally click on install. And now our workbench installation has started. If you are asked do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device, click on yes. Now our workbench installation has finished and keep this launch MySQL workbench now selected so that we can connect to a MySQL server. Now click on finish and workbench will open. Now MySQL is open. So I already had a previous connection. That's why this is showing. Otherwise in your case, this will not show. Now let's create a new connection. So click on this plus here. And now this is where you can connect to a new MySQL server. So I have my XAMPP installed here. Let's start the local MySQL server and let's connect to this. So let's give this the name of test connection and the host name is this because this is localhost. You can connect to remote server, just add the remote IP here and the port is this. So this is the default port. I'm using this port, I've not changed anything and there is no password because this is localhost. So now click on OK and we have this connection. Now we can just double click on this and the connection is opened. Click on continue anyway and my localhost database is now open so as you can see i have two databases here i can click on this and we have these things here now i can click on php my admin and this database has no tables that's why there is no drop down next to it but here we have tables so if i click on this as you can see we have a bunch of tables here now again you can click on this and click on this arrow next to it to see what the columns are what the foreign keys are and so on so we have two columns here and to see the data just click on this next to your table click on this and as you can see the data is visible here so i don't have any data here but uh, let's see where we have some data so let's say in this one click on this next to it and okay this is also empty so but but anyway this is how you can see the data from your tables so we have installed workbench and connected to a MySQL server. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.